everyone. I'm Jan, one of the dietitians, and as you can see from the title, we're talking today a little bit about tips for dining out. Many of these tips can also be used for when you're ordering out or getting takeout. So just some things to think about before you even go out or order out. Think about your goals. What are you working towards? Do you know that you need to be working on eating less fried foods or more vegetables? Keep some of those goals in mind as you're making some decisions about what to order. So one of the first things that you might consider is your restaurant choice. You know, choose a restaurant that offers has some uh, healthy choices. If you're not familiar with the restaurant, you could um, call ahead. You could see and find out, do they take special requests? You know, see what kinds of foods they offer. Um, look online, see if they have a website with a menu posted or even on a phone app. A lot of the phone apps will have um, menus from different restaurants so you can kind of see what, what are some of the things they offer. They may even have nutrition information about those choices. Another thing that can be helpful before you go to a restaurant is to mentally prepare. Think about when you first walk into a restaurant, what do you... What are some of the things you're hit with? The smells of food, it could be some of your favorites um, that you're trying to mm, eat a little bit less of. The sight of foods, especially things on uh, the table tents or on the menus. Um, the complimentary bread that you might see already sitting on the table or that they, they, uh, they will bring out and offer to you. Think also about the impact that the people that you're eating with might have on you. If they're t they tend to order uh, appetizers and entrees and dessert um, you might kind of feel obliged to to go along with that but you don't have to or if it's a special occasion be careful that you you know like a celebration sometimes we get caught up and we're so used to celebrating by eating big think about maybe making a pre preliminary decision make that that takes away the guesswork when you get in there you already have the decision made you aren't going to be swayed then by what you see or what other people are ordering. And you could even log it in your food diary. That will make it you more committed to, you know what, this time I'm gonna have this instead. Don't wait and, and try to save up your eating for the, the um, meal out. Doesn't tend to work too well. You know, stick with your regular meals. Now, if you know it's gonna be a little bit later than your usual meal time, you know, maybe have a little snack to take that edge off because you know if you're really famished, you, you lose self-control and tend to overeat and want to maybe make not so healthy choices. Now you can see the cooler down there. I'm not suggesting that you take the cooler and the ice pack into the restaurant, but especially during the summer months when it's hot out and you think you might be having leftovers to take home, please put a cooler and ice pack in your car for food safety measures. So if you haven't already made your decision about what you're going to have, when you get to the restaurant, read over the menu carefully. As you know with our program, we focus a lot on you know, eating a good lean protein so source um, and maybe even eating that first as part of your meal. So th that's something you want to emphasize. You want to look for, if it's going to be the main part of your meal, look for those leaner po um, protein choices. So I have several listed here. Uh, your meat, fish, poultry, lean cuts of beef and pork. Stay away from the, the fattier kinds of meats. And then look and see how they're prepared. Choose the, choose the types of foods that are, are baked or broiled, roasted, steamed or poached, which are less calories because they're less, less fat. Uh, some of the cues for higher fat foods would be those labeled with the terms below, the fried, breaded, crispy, creamed, uh, cheesy, buttery. So ask questions. If you're not familiar with something, you have a right to know what you're paying your money for and what you're uh, nourishing your body with. So go ahead and ask about how things are prepared if you're not sure, or if they take special requests. Another thing I would encourage you to look for are more uh, are the vegetables. Sometimes you have to look a little harder for, for the non-starchy vegetables. Those tend to be less calorie dense than the starchy vegetables like peas, corn, and potatoes. So um, you could order raw vegetables. There's some examples listed here, salad, a salsa. If they're cooked, some of the lower fat cooking methods would be the same as with your meats, your grilled, baked, roasted, or steamed. 
Um, if you're ordering salad, just be careful. Not all salads are a good choice. Some of them could be loaded with a lot of calories, especially if it's like fried chicken on top or they're loaded with a lot of cheese or um, other higher fat ingredients, maybe even like a taco salad that has sour cream on it. So you can always ask to, to leave some of those things off uh, if possible. Uh, another thing that can add a lot of calories are your salad dressings. They may have some low-fat options, um, or at least you could get it on the side. A lot of restaurants are used to that request, so don't be afraid to ask for that. And if you um, haven't heard of it before, a good trick is to dip your fork into the dressing before each bite, and you will find you use a lot less dressing. And maybe you want to just skip the dressing. Just use a little bit of fresh lemon or some vinegar, a little splash of vinegar. A lot of restaurants will be able to bring out like an oil and, and vinegar cruets and you can take control of how much you put on the salad. Consider ordering two starchy vegetable, non-starchy vegetable sides instead of the higher calorie starchy sides like your breads and chips and pasta and rice. Um, maybe it can substitute a salad or steamed vegetables or fruit in place of the higher carb or higher calorie sides. So in the pictures here on the lower left you see this is um, an egg white or egg substitute omelet with, loaded with vegetables, a little bit of cheese, and with fruit on the side instead of some other higher calorie side like hash browns or a large bagel or a biscuit. On the right, we have you know the eggs, a good source of protein, but some higher fat meats, the, the bacon, and uh, higher carbohydrate sides with the pancakes and the syrup. If you're wanting to have a soup, look for those that are broth-based. Um, that have a good source of protein in them like beef or chicken, uh, maybe some vegetables in there, and instead of the creamier, starchy-based soups. Think about ordering first if you're in with a large group of people. That way you don't have that pressure from others to order big. Like if they're ordering appetizer and entree and dessert, but you really just want to go with um, an entree or maybe a la carte and go with like a salad and some vegetable sides. So maybe you just want the entree and not all the extras. If you order first, hey, no pressure. Consider ordering a meal to share. And another thing you could do is get that take-home container right when you order so that as soon as they bring out your food, you can pack up half before you even start to eat. That way you won't even be tempted to, to um, overeat. And it's just an easier way to regulate. So um, get your little, your doggy bag or styrofoam container. One thing I will caution you about though is please, uh, when you get home, um, if that is the styrofoam container, or whatever they give you is not airtight, transfer the food to an airtight container. And if you plan to microwave heat it to heat it up, please transfer it to a glass container or other microwave safe container. Do not microwave in the styrofoam containers. All right. So back to when you're um, ordering, make your any special request clearly and politely. It doesn't hurt to ask if you can have a special request. Keep in mind that restaurants are a supply and demand industry. They supply what customers want. So if customers, more customers ask for more vegetable choices or other sorts of healthy changes, the more likely they are to incorporate them into their regular menu. Just some other things to think about, some other kinds of options. You know, going with a lower calorie condiment, see if that can be used in place of some of the higher fat or higher calorie condiments. Maybe you're in the mood for a turkey wrap. You've had it at this restaurant before. You already plan to remove some of the wrap because it's the high carbohydrate part, but you know it comes with a lot of mayonnaise. Maybe you can ask for them to leave the mayonnaise off, put it on the side, or if you know they have some Dijon mustard or some other low fat, low calorie topping that you could get instead, maybe they can serve that on the side. Stick with the zero calorie liquids instead of things that are loaded with sugar or especially coffee drinks that may have a lot of fat and sugar in them. And if you really feel like you need something sweet to end your meal, see if they have some fresh fruit. Sometimes if it's like a dinner menu, they may not have uh, fresh fruit listed as an option on a dinner menu, but if that restaurant serves breakfast or lunch, chances are there's probably fruit 
being served at those meals. And maybe you can still ask if that would be available for you for your meal. Most other desserts, though, you know, are going to be really concentrated in calories, not a good choice. You can even get more calories in a dessert than you can in a complete meal. So if it is a special occasion, maybe just consider, you know, uh, one dessert and several plates or spoons so everybody gets a little bit of a taste and you're not overdoing it. And just a few uh, final tips is, you know, try to eat mindfully. Eat slowly. Savor every bite. Nobody's trying to take away the enjoyment of eating. And you can actually enjoy your foods even more if you take your time to eat it slowly and enjoy every bite. Enjoy the company, the conversation. Pause and let your, to let your food settle. Try to still kind of pay attention to that, your level of hunger and stop when you're just comfortably satisfied, not overly full. When, you're, when you feel that, then try to get the weight stop to take your plate away or maybe you can put a napkin over your plate um, or ask for the, if you haven't already gotten a take home container, get that and, and pack it up if it's worth it. So if it's those couple extra bites of, of, you know, maybe you ordered a sandwich and you took half the bread off, so you still have half the bread there. Okay, you don't really need to take that home. Or, oh right, you did um, allow yourself to have a few french fries. We don't need to take the rest of the order home, okay? To signal the end of eating, maybe have a strong breath mint or sugar-free gum because that will lessen the appeal of wanting to eat more. And remember, we still encourage you to keep a food diary, really for self-accountability, especially if you're struggling and your weight is at a plateau, you're still trying to lose and really need to be paying attention. Then, you know, as soon as possible after eating, write it down or log it on your phone app, what and how much you ate. Work, continue to work towards your goals, monitor your progress and stay mindful. And certainly if you have questions for us, reach out. You can call or email any of the dietitians listed here. We are here to help you. So um, good luck and stay positive. Keep working on your goals.